This is the time of year for new beginnings. It's Easter. So welcome to my kitchen. I'm Mary Morrissey. And as we share this message today about Easter and about new beginnings, I want to welcome you so we can have a chat inside my kitchen. I've given Easter messages for many, many years as a teacher and as a coach and as a minister. And the best Easter joke I ever heard was this one. It's a conversation between St. Peter and Jesus. And St. Peter is complaining about all the people who get into heaven who have no understanding of scripture. And, Saint, and Jesus says to St. Peter, well, what are you going to do about it? He says, next three people who come through the gates, I'm going to give them a quiz about scripture so I know that they, they can really get in the final kingdom. So the three people line up. First one comes in the door, and St. Peter says, before you go through the final kingdom, into the final kingdom, I've got to ask you a question. What is the Feast of Easter? And the person thinks about it, and they said, I think the Feast of Easter is when the pilgrims rode the Mayflower and came to the New World and, and then had a big feast with the Indians. Is, am I right? St. Peter said, well, go over here to the holding room and I'll come visit with you in a minute. Second person comes to the door. St. Peter says, before you go into the final kingdom, I have a question for you so I know how well you know your scripture. What is the Feast of Easter? And this person says, the Feast of Easter, the Feast of Easter, I think that's when Joseph and Mary traveled from Bethlehem or traveled to Bethlehem, and, and there was no room in the inn, and, and they had the baby Jesus, and right there with the lowly cattle, and, and the birth happened right there. Is, is that right? And St. Peter says, go ahead and wait in the holding room. I'll come talk to you in a moment. And then the third person comes through the gate, and St. Peter says, before I give you admittance into the final kingdom, I have a question for you. What is the Feast of Easter? And this person says, the Feast of Easter, well, I think it's when Jesus rode into Jerusalem during the final week on a donkey. And there was the Hosanna, Hosanna. And Peter says, yes. And then on Thursday night, there was the Last Supper, and there was the great betrayal. And Peter says, yes. And then Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. Yes. And then there was the arrest. Yes. And then there was the trial. Peter says, yes. And then there was the crucifixion. Yes. And then Jesus was in the tomb for three days, and then people gathered around waiting, and when Jesus came out, they were very anxious to know, did he see his shadow? Because then they would know there were six more weeks of winter. And Peter put his hands in his head. Oh my gosh. Now, one of the things about that joke that I always liked was, it's not knowing scripture, it's knowing the spirit of what it means. Because this is a story of transformation. This is a story of finding a power in us that is greater than anything in this world a power that rises us up out of situations that seem dark, difficult, and confining, and actually a power that's greater than death itself. Now, that power is in every single one of us, but finding that power, accessing it, and unleashing it becomes not only a great opportunity, but at times a great challenge. There's another story that I heard many years ago that's helped me when I'm facing big challenges. It's a story about a mule that falls into a well. And the old farmer goes out there and sees his old mule, who's on his last legs anyway, and he's down in the bottom of this well. And the farmer is thinking, how am I ever going to get this mule out of here? And he goes, you know what, it's probably time for him to go anyway. So he goes and he gets a neighbor and says, you know what, let's put the mule out of his misery and we're just going to throw dirt on him and put him out of his misery. And the mule is hearing this conversation and the mule is thinking, I'm not ready to be put out of my misery. And the dirt starts falling down and getting hitting him on the back and hitting him on the back and hitting him on the back. And he notices that he's starting to get you know, more and more dirt around him. And then a thought occurs to him that no matter what's happening to him, shake it off and step up. And so he shakes off that dirt and he steps up on the dirt that's been thrown on him. And more dirt is thrown and he shakes it off and he steps up again. And more dirt is thrown and he shakes it off and he shakes it off and he shakes it off and he, it off and he walks right out of that well. Now, that is a process, and that's an attitude that I've brought to circumstances and situations in my life. At times, it does feel like life is throwing stuff at us. Circumstances, situations, a diagnosis, a difficulty, a divorce, something that maybe we didn't want to have happen, but it is happening. And to discover that there's a power in us that's greater than that divorce, that's greater than that disease, that's greater. So we accept the diagnosis, but not the prognosis. We accept the divorce, but not what it means. It doesn't mean that we're unlovable and we'll never have love in our lives again. We may have difficulty financially right now, but that's not our future unless we decide it's going to be. You can shake off the energy or the emotion of a situation and discover that there's a power in you. And that's what this season is all about. It's, sometimes it's not easy to go through our own personal crucifixions. And sometimes we do feel as if we've been tried unfairly. 
But it's not really about that. It's not about whether life is fair or whether we should have had what we had. It's about what do we do that we, with what we do have. So if it's happening, whatever the thing is that's happening in your life right now, know this, that over the last 40 years, as I've worked with tens of thousands of people all over the world, I know this to be absolutely true, that there is a power in you, it's in every single one of us, that's greater than anything that life can bring to us or throw at us or on us. But discovering that power isn't done in the absence of the difficulty. It's actually done in the presence of the difficulty, where we rise up above it, we shake it off, and we step up on the difficulty, and we find our way to a whole new path in life. I wish you in this season, no matter what your religion, no matter what your background, no matter what your belief about the resurrection, there's a power in us that is a resurrective power. It resurrects us from low self-esteem. It resurrects us from self-doubt. It resurrects us from the hurt of the past. It resurrects us and gives us a fresh new beginning when we're ready to partner with that power and say, this is my day, and take our step, shake it off, and step up. Happy Easter.